Hi, I'm Megan Smith. This is my illustrated bio. Things are always way more entertaining when there's pictures. I am a singer. I've always been a singer. My parents say I was born screaming and hollering, but I like to think I was born singing. With three sisters, my mom, dad, and myself all under one roof, our home was bursting at the seams with people and most importantly, music. My mom was a piano teacher and my dad played bass in different bands. Each of my three sisters is a gifted piano player and singer. I'm the only one in my family who can't read music. And oddly enough, I'm the only one who's pursuing a musical career. You'd think that with a mother as a piano teacher, one would learn all sorts of things about scales, timing, intervals, and arpeggios. Let's just say that I learned to play by ear after one lesson with my mom. But as much as that music lesson may have forced us apart for the afternoon, music always brought my family together. I grew up in London, Ontario, Canada. We couldn't afford cables, so to avoid doing homework, I occupied myself with other activities, like drawing and singing. And with three mostly fuzzy TV channels to choose from, I ended up watching a lot of animated movies and old musicals. Some of my favorites are Calamity Jane, My Fair Lady, and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. I've never been a real big show tunes kind of person, but you've got to admit, those are some catchy songs. When I was a teenager, I started playing guitar, but my carefree childhood confidence quickly turned to stage fright. I opted to go to school for animation in pursuit of my drawing, but I couldn't fight the urge to sing my songs. Eventually, I worked up the courage to put on secret concerts for a few of my friends in the stairwells of the animation building. An engineer who helped us record voices for our animation projects heard me sing and encouraged me to use the school's recording studio to make a demo CD. And that's when my love affair with the microphone began. I graduated from college and moved to Halifax, Nova Scotia for a job in animation. I also decided to tackle my fear of the stage and began to play shows locally. Soon it was time for me to make an album. I had written a bunch of new songs, I just needed to find someone to produce them, which is where Les Cooper comes in. Les is a producer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and arranger from Toronto. The first time we met, I played him my song, If You Ask Me, on guitar. Other producers had said, yeah man, get some killer crunchy guitars on there, and cowbell. But Les said, I hear a horn section on that, and I said, you're hired. We spent two months in Toronto bringing the Crickets Orchestra to life. I wanted the album to be an inspiring musical experience that makes you feel like you're leaving one world and entering another. A colorful, whimsical, and imaginative place where you can reflect on your past and look forward to your future. I'm really, really into the music of the 20s, 30s, and 40s, times when things were more pure and simple. So I wanted the music to recall those eras, but I wanted to put my own spin on things. Les and I put our heads together and decided to create my musical world by using a string quartet, an eight-piece horn section, guitars, keys, upright bass, a clarinet, some flutes, and even an omnichord. We also used Mellotron samples in place of a modern band because we loved the quirky vintage vibe they brought to the songs and topped it all off with some turntable scratches. The result is an ideal blend of old and new. Produced by the master of all things keys, Greg Kirsten, the lead-off track, Heartbroken, merges my love of modern and vintage recordings with a mix of old dusty strings, shiny new beats, and guitar riffs. This song goes out to all my peeps who have ever had a busted heart. I was lucky enough to record my song Poor with the legendary T-Bone Burnett. We had a wonderful time working together with his amazing crew at his studio to capture Poor, which is a hopeful song for tough economic times. I Know is made almost entirely from a Mellotron sample, except of course for the whistling solo, thanks to my dad, and the killer clarinet licks. This song is for anyone out there who can't say those three little words, like my grandfather. I wrote If You Ask Me about a guy that I met and fell madly in love with based solely on his dancing abilities, and I found myself saying yes to things that I probably should have said no to. My first crush, who shall forever remain unnamed because I have never had the guts to tell him, gets a song too. A Little Love features a string quartet with turntable flourishes from my friend, DJ Kid Koala. Drifted Apart is a song from my childhood best friend who lived across the street from me while we were growing up. She moved out west and I moved out east and we lost touch. So I wrote her this song hoping to guilt her into returning my messages. Don't worry, she did. So here I am, 
with the Crickets Orchestra ready to share with you. I've had a lovely time chatting with you. Thanks so much for taking the time to visit my website and check out my bio. I hope you enjoy my music. Yours truly, Megan Smith. <laughs>